This program is brought to you by the partners and friends of Creflo Dollar Ministries. Coming up next on Changing Your World. You, are, you have been called to sweat the glory of God. And there are a lot of things that are happening in your life to prepare you to sweat some glory. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Preparing you to sweat glory means that no matter what you're going through, and people see what you're going through, but if they keep watching, they're going to see you sweat some glory. They're going to see you sweat some manifestations. They're going to see you sweat the victory that Jesus already said you had. Cleveland, Ohio, Dallas, Texas. The Change Experience is on its way. Join Pastors Creflo and Taffy Dollar for one night only, March 6th in Cleveland, Ohio, and April 24th in Dallas, Texas. As soon as we found out that it was happening again, my friend found out, booked a ticket straight away. It's really, really, really changed my life. You don't want to miss these special events. Go online to get your free seat today. running for the pressure and quit quit thinking that you're odd because you're having pressure if anybody is a, is a Christian I can assure you pressure is a part of your Christianity Amen. stop running for it it's 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 going to come they that live godly shall have pressure why because there's a call on your life you got to prepare somehow you got to prepare somehow. There may be something in your life that you don't yet know about. You're in preparation for the ultimate reason for why you're here. So you've got to pass the test of pressure that's coming from circumstances, that's coming from situation, that's coming from lack, and that's coming from people. You don't need somebody's validation and hand clap over your performance. Stop looking for people to applause you. The only audience you're concerned about is an audience of one. Jesus. An audience of one. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. The word flee means to run with fear. You know what he says? Oh, Lord, if you will withstand and stand up, you submit yourself to God first, and then withstand the devil, fight back. You know what he says? He runs with fear away from those who know who they are and the victory they have. Satan cannot defeat, overcome, or continue to mess with someone who knows who they are and what they have. It's going to be over for a minute, folks, but stand up against him. See, I don't care what it looks like. And it may look like it ain't never going to break through, but don't, don't let him see you weak. Stand. Somebody say, what you going to do after you stand? Stand. Well, what you going to do after you stand twice? Stood. <laughs> well, how you go from stand to stood? Because I got my victory now. The manifestation of my victory. I had it before, but I, I'm, I was standing in my victory, but then I stood in my victory because now I see the manifestation of my victory. Amen. That's the deal right there. He's coming after you to see if he can knock you off of your victory. We're exposing him today. Amen. I said we're exposing him today. Amen. You're going to pimp out here and say, you want some of me? <laughs> you want some of me? You're going to do that Miyagi son. You want some of me? Ah, come on. You want some of me? Uh-huh. This can't last always. Amen. Trouble don't last always. Amen. Trouble don't last always. Amen. There is no such thing as trouble coming to you without an expiration. 
you got to hold it out. It's not going to stay there always. So don't do nothing stupid because of that. Don't turn your back on God. He will never turn his back on you. But if God was God, then why he let that happen? I told you there's a devil loose and your flesh is loose and your decisions are there. Quit blaming God for everything. Last week I told you, don't put the God stamp on everything that happens in your life. Amen. 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 Well, something must be wrong. Ain't nothing got to be wrong. Remember the story of the guy that was born blind, I think it was? And they kept asking, well, who did wrong for this boy to be born blind? And Jesus said, nothing, nobody did nothing wrong. He said, but for the glory of God. I am announcing to you guys today, except but the glory of God, you have been ordained and called to be partakers of the glory of God. You, are, you have been called to sweat the glory of God. And there are a lot of things that are happening in your life to prepare you to sweat some glory. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Preparing you to sweat glory means that no matter what you're going through and people see what you're going through, but if they keep watching, they're going to see you sweat some glory. They're going to see you sweat some manifestations. They're going to see you sweat the victory that Jesus already said you had. I dare you to turn to somebody and say, I'm sweating the glory of God. sweating the glory of God. Yes, amen. Said I wasn't gonna cry this morning. I've been crying a lot lately. Not because of because I'm sad, but because of what God's been doing. I had a really, really close friend of ours that uh, was going through a terrible fight with brain cancer. And uh, you know, we're believing God and and getting the wisdom of God and believing God and getting the wisdom of God. And you know, when you do those tests, they the cancer cells, and they have a marker for it, and it was really high, and then it went to a lower number. And I got a call, and they were at the doctor's office tearing it up. What's going on? My wife said, I was, I was in the other room, and I heard Tabitha just shouting and praising the Lord. And uh, she opened her mouth up, and she said, they didn't find no, no cancer cells. All the cancer gone. They didn't find no cancer cells. Let, let me show you. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this to you. I, you, they're, they're tears of victory. And I couldn't say nothing. I was trying to rejoice with her. And I had shaving cream on my face. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get dressed. And when I heard what she said, I just, I just came. It wasn't no, you know, I, I came to her and I just, te the tears fell out. Y'all ever had that time? You, you, you can, don't even try to hold them back. They just fall out. And I grabbed Taffy, and we just started crying and hugging and praising the Lord. Why? Because the expiration date had finally come. And I announced that over your life this morning, the expiration date has finally come. Great is our Jesus. You get yourself stirred up. Sometimes you just need a good preaching that. You get yourself stirred up. You get yourself stirred up. Hallelujah. Sometimes you need to let that devil know you think you messing with me. You ain't messing with me. I'll shout a thousand hallelujahs and mess you up. I'll dance under God with a voice of triumph. You ain't messing with me. I'm going to mess with you. I'm going to put fear on you. Now, how you like it? <laughs> Revelations 12. Revelations 12, 10 through 11. Oh, shaka. This, I'm equipping you. I'm, this is your ammo. I'm giving you enough scripture to keep the devil on his back. He said, I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. 
for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Now, let me stop here just for a moment. You can, very, you can clearly see who is the accuser of the brethren. Well, you stop accusing folks and stop joining his team. Yes. Well, the reason why that happened to you is because you sinned, and the reason why that happened because you didn't pray long enough. Quit joining the team. You, you are not supposed to be the accuser of the brethren, and the, but there's just too many people in the body of Christ that they've become a part of the accuser of the brethren. Shut your mouth up. <laughs> the, the revival of Azusa Street was going just fine until a bunch of preachers got involved and thought that they, you, he needs to do this and he yeah. needs to understand that. Yeah. Don't you know God is well able to equip people to do what they need to do? Yes, yes, yes. Just leave folks alone. Quit being the accuser of the brother. As long as people coming to Jesus Christ and getting born again, are you kidding me? The Holy Spirit can, can handle the rest of it. But everybody always got something to say, like somebody made you the Holy Ghost police. <laughs> like you the spiritual popo. You shut your mouth up. Ain't nobody got this thing down perfect. We're doing it just the best we know how. I ain't got it down perfect. I'm doing just the best I know how for right now. If I'd have known any better, I'd have preached this message a long time ago, but I didn't know no better then. I'm doing the best I know how. So I don't need nobody up there, like, well, he didn't, that. you don't either. Let me. <laughs> Quit being the accuser of the brother. God, regardless of what you think, can use anybody he wants to. Yes, and isn't it like God? He's always going to pick somebody you never would have thought. And you going to all them cemetery schools and he, he, he uses whoever he wants to use, whenever he wants to use them, just like he wants to use them, and quit trying to fit people in that old traditional mode. Let folks do what God called them to do. I'm called to be a teacher. I teach. You don't like teaching, go find you some preaching. But I got to do what I'm trying to do. Don't well, you need to hook it up a little bit. I, <laughs> Quit being a part of the accuser of the brethren. Yes. Rejoice with people. Be happy for folks. When they get a promotion, rejoice with them. Get a new house, shout with them. Get a new car, ride with them. Hey. Learn how to rejoice for people. Quit, get yourself off your mind for a minute so you can hey. rejoice with somebody else. And what you don't know is what you do for somebody else acts like a boomerang, and then it comes and it hits your life because you're rejoicing with somebody else. Quit being such a, such a, such a. There are lots of words to finish that, right? Such a, such a, such a, such a. Stop. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm back. <laughs> I kind of left y'all for a moment. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Now, let me show you what this means. This is not a magic spell. This is not a plea to blood. Oh, it didn't work. I need to do it two more times. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. No. He says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony about the blood of the Lamb. The word of their testimony testifying about what the blood of the Lamb has made available. So here's how you overcome the devil. <laughs> When he show up, by the blood of Jesus, 
I've been made righteous. Bam! By the blood of Jesus, I've been redeemed. Bam! By the blood of Jesus, I'm already holy. Bam! Bam! By the blood of Jesus, my supply house is Jesus. Bam! 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 By the blood of Jesus, all my sins have been paid for. Bam. You overcome by what the blood has accomplished for you, and you testify or give testimony or give voice to what the blood of Jesus has already done. But most people, they don't overcome by the blood of the Lamb because they don't know what the blood of the Lamb has accomplished. And if you don't know what the blood of the Lamb has already accomplished for you, how are you going to overcome? Somebody told me, if you really want to keep a secret, put it in a book. <laughs> well, that's over. We open in this book up every time we get together. Amen. We want to find out the secrets that are in this book. Find out what the blood has done. Well, you've already know. I've been teaching on what the blood has done, but good Lord, if you've been part of this church any time, overcoming with that. Give testimony to what he's done. Give testimony that his blood has made you healed of the finished works that I'm preaching on right now. And then save this, save this one for the last. Oh, yeah, by the blood of Jesus, Satan is a defeated foe. Yeah. Overcome him because he cannot stand up against the blood. Amen? Amen. All right, 1 Peter 5, verses 8 through 10. I'm going to look at this in the King James and the New Living Translation. 1 Peter 5, verses 8 and 10. Something is going to happen. I don't know if I'm believing in it, but have you ever been in a situation you've been doing something look like you did it before? And you, you know the next thing that's getting ready to happen? That just happened to me. I was like, I did this before. I, I know exactly what's getting ready to happen. Oh, Jesus. Ah, the boku shrikiris. Mm. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Oh, whatever's dead in your house, whatever's dead in your relationship, and whatever's dead in your life is about to be resurrected. If it wasn't, it is now. I just said it. There's a power that comes when prophesying over people. And I'm prophesying victory over your life. I'm, I'm prophesying success over your life. I'm prophesying resurrection in your life. I'm prophesying supernatural progress in your life. I'm prophesying that whatever's been stolen is going to be restored back unto you. I am prophesying supernatural favor in your life. I'm prophesying it over you right now. Be it done unto you. Boy, there's an anointing sweeping across this room right now. Hallelujah. 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 See, the anointing will remove the burden. It'll destroy the yoke. It empowers. Supernatural. Supernatural. You won't even have an explanation for what's about to happen. The only way you can reply is, this is the Lord's doing. This got to be God. Some of you sitting here minding your own business, trying to figure out how you're going to work this thing out when you get back home. And while you are seated here minding your own business, there's a change going on right now. There's a change of status going on right now. The old you is going to have to surrender and bow down to the new you. Hallelujah. Something is going on in the realm of the spirit right now. And it'll be marvelous in our eyes. It'll be marvelous in our eyes. It'll be marvelous in our eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, hey, glory to God. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> oh, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I sense it in my spirit right now. Hallelujah. Glory, glory be to God. If God has ever delivered you from anything, if he did it once, he's about to do it again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. All is well. All is well. Ah, you're about to sweat the glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. You have been called to a place of undeserved privilege so you can see the glory of God, so you can share in the glory that comes from him. The glory is just a manifested promises, manifested word. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. 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 Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church is going to change. It's not going to be like it normally is. Praise God. You walk in one way and walk out the other way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Some of y'all got to be careful you don't fall tonight and spend the night at church. <laughs> Glory be to God. There are things that are about to happen that no man will be able to take credit for. The Holy Ghost is about to stand up strong in these last days. Uh, that's why I can see it. The only way I can see it is there's a switcheroo getting ready to take place. You ever heard that term? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever's been dominating you, you're getting ready to dominate it. Hallelujah. Thank you. Your days of being in slavery and in bondage to a thing, that thing's coming to an end, praise God. You will not be a slave anymore. Thank you, Jesus. It's time to consider a new formula for success. It's called grace-based success, which is the God kind of success. It is time for you to discover God's path to supernatural progress. Satan has been defeated and Jesus is Lord. And I'm going to show you today how to keep him under, how to keep him whoop. But after listening to Pastor Dollar's teaching, um, I've been able to stand firm on his word and as a result, see restoration and favor. You can also receive today's full message for only $7. Or for $35, the Trusting God for Your Success bundle is designed to help you understand God's will for your life. This bundle includes the three message series, Trusting God for Your Success, the Grace for Transformation mini book, and the Power of Grace Based Prayers companion book. Don't delay. Order today or call the number on the screen for more information at CreflodollarMinistries.org. This is an awesome experience. We are a team. It's yeah. amazing. You've not been called to be ordinary, but extraordinary. Ladies, are you ready to find your worth? Join us at the 2020 Worth Radical Women's Conference, March 19th through the 21st at World Changers Church International and learn just how valuable you are. Once you find out your worth, you will stop giving out discounts. Join Taffy Dollar, Creflo Dollar, Sarah Jakes Roberts, Dee Dee Freeman, and special musical guests Todd Delaney, Miranda Curtis, and Demita Chandler. Mark my words, this is going to be epic. Join us for three life-changing days at the 2020 Radical Women's Conference, March 19th through the 21st. Reserve your seat today at taffydollar.org or text RADICAL to 51555.
Creflo Dollar Ministries has fed, clothed, housed, and shared the gospel of grace with people on practically every continent. I want to encourage you to visit our website and catch up on all the work that's going on around the world. You may never visit these places or witness the poverty and the levels of human suffering firsthand. But you know what? Your support, your prayers, selfless giving, it equips us to go and change lives for the better. Thank you so much for caring enough to proactively take steps to prevent misfortune in the lives of others. God bless you. Log on to our website at missions.creflodollarministries.org to see all the work we do at Creflo Dollar Global Missions. Thank you for your support. Can't make it to service? No problem. Join our online worldwide audience. Experience the same atmosphere of praise, worship, and teaching of God's Word from any mobile or smart device via our website. It is not a blessing to go around broke, busted, and disgusted. It is not a blessing to go around sick, with cancer, about to die. It is not God's will for you to die. You can leave here when you get ready to go, praise God. That's the blessing of the Lord. Long life. Every mistake that you've ever made, every shortcoming that you've ever experienced, it is under the blood of Jesus. And Jesus is how God sees us. He sees us through His blood. We're excited that you've decided to stay involved as we continue our mission to flood this world with the gospel of grace and empower change in the lives of people all over the world. We have one mission, to tell the world that our God is alive. Because all that we are is because of who Jesus is. Not just because he died, but because he lives, because he cares, because he loves, and because he is God. So who are we? We are his hands, his feet, his people. We are his church. So we take his message of grace all around the world to the fatherless, to the hungry, to the hurting, to the old. And to the young we go. As he is, so are we. We are world changers. Your generosity allows us to make a difference in the lives of people all over the world. Through Creflo Dollar Global Missions, we are providing food, clothing, crucial supplies, and the Word of God to people in the most remote regions of the world. Because of you, Creflo Dollar Ministries is providing a new understanding of grace and empowering change in the lives of millions of people every day. Thank you, partners and friends. Your love and financial support makes it possible to bring this message into millions of homes all across the globe. 